Jose Barrios is Subtech. This is a series of videos designed to help the hobbyist design, build, and construct a successful submarine. Video 3.2 Scientific Submarines In July 1969, the PX-15 christened Benjamin Franklin set off on a 30-day mission to drift inside the Gulf Stream. During the voyage, she reached depths of over 4,000 feet. In 1970, the look of research submarines changed forever. A Navy research submarine, Nemo, was built. Nemo's distinguishing feature was an acrylic sphere that held the crew of the submarine. Built of hexagons, this sphere failed to pass Navy certification. In 1971, the Johnson ceiling was built around the acrylic sphere. The submarine had two compartments. She suffered an accident which led to the death of some crew members. Phil Newton, famous for his hard diving suits, created a very successful sphere submarine, the Newt Submarine. In 2012, James Cameron traveled to the Marianas to become the third man to reach the bottom of the ocean. Other countries also created very successful research submarines, including the Mir, which explored the Titanic. The Chinese also recently dove the Chai Long, a submarine that recently dove to an astounding 20,928 feet. The United States Navy built the first nuclear power research submarine, NR-1. Other notable underwater adventures include the Sea Lab project, which allowed men to live on the bottom of the ocean. Today, most underwater exploration of the oceans is conducted by ROVs or remotely operated vehicles. I feel it's unfortunate that we've decided to leave the exploration of the sea to robots. This is Jose Barrios, Subtech.